Hi. Hello. And welcome to the Global Creators Podcast with your hosts, Nessa, Mirette, and me, Holly. Welcome to episode four of the Global Creators Podcast. Today we'll be talking all about International Women's Day, which is actually going to be held on Monday. International Women's Day is a day where we can celebrate the achievements of women all around the world. And that's exactly what we want to talk about today, women in the creative industries. So a few days ago, we asked our followers their opinion about the creative industry relating to gender. And here's what they said. One of the questions that we asked our followers was whether they think that creative career paths are more accepted for men or for women. 49% said for men and 51% said for women so it was kind of like half and half in the middle there wasn't really a clear like divide between men or women like people thought it was equal which was actually quite interesting but personally I I don't think there is like either gender that a creative career path is favoured over like I feel like nowadays it's kind of neither gender Like, I feel like creative career paths are still quite frowned upon and although a lot more people lately are kind of picking up career paths that are creative, but yeah, I wouldn't say that either gender, you know, is favoured in creative industries. So yeah, my opinion would be neither gender. Next we asked if you feel like male creators are able to charge more without being questioned. And surprisingly, 75% of you said yes. It kind of implies that women's work, women's creative work is questioned more because um, male are obviously specialists, they're able to charge more than than women, they are professionals, it's not being questioned. Um, That's why I wanted to ask though without it being questioned because gender obviously shouldn't determine how much you charge or how good you are but it's nice to address those stereotypes so we can work on bringing them down another question we asked you guys was who do you think receives more criticism in their creative work so 77 percent said women and 23 percent said men and a reason suggested for this was that people tend to view men as more professional than women so that's why women receive criticism more instead so tell us what do you think another question that we also asked was whether people thought that gender determines people's artistic styles 62 percent said no and 38 percent said yes so more people actually said no which was actually kind of surprising because i was actually expecting people to say yes i think it's good though because we kind of thought that maybe you know men their artistic style is sort of dark and moody but then on the other hand we kind of thought women are like light and airy you know like the stereotype between men and women but it's good that men and women are both open to trying different styles new styles and you know they're not following that stereotype so yeah moving on we wanted to know who you think is deemed better when it comes to the technical side of art and photography and 60% of you, the majority, said men, which sadly isn't surprising as there is a stereotype in society that men are better at technical things and men are quite like gear heavy um, and they know how to use all of their gear and stuff, um, while women are seen more as focusing more on the art itself. Because that brings me on to the next question. We wanted to know Who do you think is deemed better when it comes to the creative side of art and photography, like creative work? And 73% of you said women. The results really do speak for themselves. You know, it kind of blocks the industry into a stereotype of men just being generally better at technical things, whereas women being better at like the artsy creative like putting a putting their own flair on it and um yeah it's just really interesting that what we thought like uh societal stereotypes um there are they actually are there but just as a reminder don't let stereotypes stop you you can be the most technical proficient person on earth and still have an artistic flair to what you do 
Here's the last question we asked you guys was, who do you think or believe the creative industry is dominated by? Actually, a quick Google suggests that more females than males, they tend to study creative arts subjects, yet a small proportion of women, they go into creative jobs after graduation. So it's debatable. Thank you to everyone who participated in our polls. It was actually a really nice insight into what you guys think because a lot of the time it's kind of just us talking and what we think. So it was nice to know what you guys think instead. For the next part of this episode, we're going to talk about women in the creative industry that inspire us and that we really like. The number one YouTuber that I keep thinking back to is Samantha Maria. Watching her over the 10 years on YouTube, um, I kind of connected a lot to her with um, her hair actually and I feel like sometimes when you have that one thing that's like that makes you feel like you stand out from other people you kind of connect with that creator so I found a connection with her through her hair and through her ethnicity um, because she's also from two different ethnic backgrounds um, just like me and um, yeah her creative style over the years has kind of really evolved and she's jumping into trends and everything like that and it's just kind of more of like a, a modern digital inspiration for me if I'm ever like stuck I'll have a look on um, various social platforms on what she posts you know obviously alongside other um, creators she's obviously more into like fashion lifestyle which isn't really the contact that I niche at but I just found her like persona and outlook and how real and authentic she comes across online has really like influenced me to try to do the same if that makes sense yeah so ever since i studied photography in school i've actually been drawing inspiration from vivian mayer so i've been doing self-portrait um self-portraiture for like i don't even know how many years probably since we had those nokia foot phones and you know we took selfies like that which is just you know just just don't do that i admire the new generation because they don't have to go through that um but yeah vivian may have really inspired me uh she was a self-portrait photographer um shooting in film and she generally shot herself through mirrors and i really like the aspect of like mirrors reflections kind of capturing your reflection in a puddle and things like that but um yeah vivian mayo was a great inspiration because the majority of my uh work when i studied i did self-portraiture and it's kind of something that's also come back around through sorel moore the selfie university queen you know she built the course that was incredible i've mentioned it in the other podcast episodes as well but um I would say those two are my main female inspirations. I owe them so much on how far I've come. And yeah. I personally think that a lot of women are inspiring, but I'm just gonna talk about two today. Okay, so the first one is my mom. Actually, I find her pretty inspiring to me. I always look up to her. She has struggled a lot ever since she was young. And yet she gets up every time she falls down and I actually wish to be like her one day and I'm actually trying to gain a lot of her qualities. Another person that I find pretty inspiring is a Mexican artist called Frida Kahlo. I'm sure a lot of you know about her and actually she had a lot of stuff going on with her, with her life. Um, she had heartbreak, three miscarriages, her husband cheated on her with her sister so imagine and yet she just carried on and she moved on and she she just kept painting and influencing people she's just amazing and you guys should watch the movie called Frida it's it's awesome you'll love it she's just inspiring to me so one of the female creators that really inspires me is Jessica Cabasi obviously I talk about her a lot you guys probably know that like she's one of my favorites but the thing that inspired me the most was when she went out photographing strangers um, I spent a lot of time watching that series and after she did that it inspired me to actually go do it myself like I I was always quite shy like in school like I didn't like going up to people I don't like talking to people standing in front of people but she kind of gave me the confidence to go out and do that myself and I was actually really proud of that so yeah 
Another person would be Marina W Photo on Instagram. She always posts the behind the scenes of her like photographs that she takes and she always kind of thinks outside the box and has new ideas to try and I feel like that inspires me to also think outside the box and try new ideas which I really like. And lastly, uh, Hello Miss Jordan on Instagram. I feel like a lot of you might know her as well. Uh, she's the girl who kind of dresses up in like princess fairy tale dresses, like really nice dresses and she goes out in public in them like she looks really nice and she kind of just doesn't care what other people think. Like I, I see her on TikTok a lot and people are always commenting things like, oh my god I could never go out in public like this, oh my god I would be so judged, like why isn't this normal? And her response is always kind of like, why not make this normal? Like who cares what other people think, just do it. And I think that's really inspiring that she doesn't care what other people think and it also kind of makes me realise that, you know, not everyone cares about you, like the world doesn't revolve around you, so kind of just do what makes you happy and yeah, just go out there and live your life I guess. Thanks so much for listening today guys. So in honour of International Women's Day we wanted to start a fundraiser for Women Photograph. The charity is a non-profit charity that launched in 2017 to elevate the voices of women and non-binary visual journalists. If you want to be part of supporting Women Photograph, head in the link in our description and we would love if you were part of raising money for them. Nothing goes to us, it goes completely straight to them. And yeah, make sure that you go follow us on Instagram and comment your favourite female creator down in the comments below on our latest post. We can't wait to hear who inspires you.